Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to learn how can you read HTML tables that are available on a website using simply using pandas. So the usual approach someone would take is um, uh, someone would uh, import a scraping library. So then you have to parse the HTML. Uh, after you parse the HTML, then um, you have to you know find the table tag, and then from the table tag you would you would try to you know create the table structure that would finally give you a pandas data frame. But fortunately, there is a function in pandas that that's uh, called a read underscore HTML. This is not very well known or not very well used usually. This is a very simple function that does a lot of heavy lifting for you. So let's go to the functions uh, documentation. So I'll uh, link this function documentation below the like button. So if you like this video, please like the video. And um, if you see this actually basically explains what it does. Um, so basically it looks for uh, the table tag in a page of this uh, HTML content that is scraped and then it will go for TR, which is an indication for a row and uh, TD which is uh, which is uh, within a uh, row so if you have never seen a uh, html tag so let's quickly go and then look at the page source so this will help you understand how the html table is uh, designed so if you see so you have a table tag at the top and then within table tag you have a t body tag and within t body tag you can actually see there is a tr and then that creates a header and then after that you see tr within tr you see td every time so this is how you um, uh, an html uh, table is designed and that is exactly what it goes and uh, it looks for this particular function but still uh, they've asked you to read the gotchas about uh, the uh, html parsing libraries if you want and again this is not a drop and replacement of you know how you usually do it with uh, beautiful super or anything but um, uh, this is a very good simple way uh, if a html table is very well structured so a few things that you would you should note and uh, that is um, here you can see that when you pass header is equal to zero argument and then uh, you might have to manually assign the column names. So, so th these are few things that you can just get from this help page. So, what we can do is le le let's straight away go ahead and then find a page. What I'm doing is I've found a page where there is an HTML table. So, a list of states in India by past population. So, I'm going to copy the URL. You simply call uh, numpy is equal to pandas. Sorry, uh, import pandas as PDM. I'm so sorry. I'm recording this video at a very late night so my brain has got switched off so you just put the url and then you say pd.read underscore csv and as you know i'm demoing this oh mm, there is a tokenization error so let's see sorry it's a pd underscore uh, read.html like i said i'm recording this video at a very late night in my time so probably that is why so this this uh, content that has been read from this function it has been stored inside this object so now you can actually see what is inside the object so when you see inside this object you would actually not see a table because the reason is this object uh, contains tables as a list so if a page if an html page has multiple tables each table is an element within a list that is how it is you can see it is starting as list so if you want the first table in this case we have only one table right so what you can do is you can just say the first element give me the first element and then you've got the beautiful table so you can see you've got rank you have got um, um, state and union territory as it's mentioned here and then you've got a bunch of column names and all those column names are there. So if you want to change the columns name you can still change the column names and there are some missing values also which you can have a look at it for example telangana has na na and those na's have been also read properly as a missing value rather than uh, you know uh, you getting some junk so you can uh, this is a good uh, um, exercise uh, for you to go through uh, for you to understand uh, uh, you know how quickly or soon you can just read a table and uh, get into a pandas data frame i should probably say reading html tables as pandas data frame that would be more appropriate uh, so let's look at another example where you've got a multiple tables so i actually don't know any particular so let's let's go to uh, some world cup maybe world cup 2006 i don't know which world cup it's going to show um okay 
okay so this seems to have multiple tables so let's have a look at it uh, how does it perform so let's go and call world cup 2006 i still don't know which world cup it is maybe that's not the point uh, so let's read it after you read it you can actually see uh, length of how many elements you have you've got oh 55 that's nice uh, let's open there are so many tables uh, let's open the first one let's open the first one or uh, let's say fifth one let's see what is there so you can see fifth one says national squads base camp and um, so there is a team and city so as you can see the header is not properly passed and these are the places where you might have to you know come back and then do a little bit of uh, text cleaning so you might have to save this um, as part of a, a separate um, a data frame and then do it but this is properly uh, formatted you can see where is team and city so let's try to find where is this in this particular one it's not there japan japan is there okay so team and city so still cannot find where is this but uh, you can actually see that uh, it has done its job and then you get to see a few things here so the idea is again you just give the url and then it does the heavy lifting for you but if you want to do a little bit of tuning you, you should definitely look at this page which will give you um, options like for example um, which parsing engine you want to use do you want to use bs4 which is beautiful soup or do you want to use uh, uh html uh, uh five lib or uh wh what other um, you know, parsing uh, library that you want to use so these are few information that you can um, basically uh, optimize here again uh, skip rows so now how many number of rows you want to skip so basically uh, the 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 table before this that you saw so you would have seen that there was uh, a junk for the first two rows probably that is a place where you want to you know skip two rows and then you know you start taking it so that pandas identify the type of the uh, table value properly in that so let's quickly do one final table and then we'll uh, will wind up this video so let's see world population maybe uh, is that a good one world population um, okay it has got a table uh, but the table is really not nicely formatted so let's see what uh, pandas does uh, world world pop okay so what's inside my world pop uh, okay 26 so it has got uh, the sixth uh, actually the seventh element oh it has got a lot of tables so let's uh, let's look at the first first one or uh, 10 most populous countries i think it must be the second one in this page okay uh, 10 most populous countries you can see china india and then you have got uh, 2015 uh, so it's um, so the data is right it's there so you can see that uh, you quickly managed to just get a um table but again uh, like i mentioned you would get a lot of junk like this so because of this now uh, pandas might be considering that this entire column is um, actually uh, uh, a character so these are the things that you want to um, um, process once you get the data so that is all together a separate process so you need to know a little bit of text processing uh, to probably exclude anything that doesn't have number in this thing or starts with a number but uh, this is a wonderful uh, function for you to start with uh, if you want to parse or read html tables as pandas data frame just simply using one single function uh, i'll link this documentation as i mentioned i don't think uh, this notebook is required probably if it is required i'll just link this notebook also in the uh, description if you have any questions please let me know otherwise i hope this video was helpful and um, until i see you in the next video take care of yourself take care